All right, Rich, thank you so much. So the Ritz Museum here in La Villa is really just a page in history. It is a wonderful space to learn about African-American life here locally. And a lot of these lessons are not taught in school. You really have to seek them out to know where you come from. But I will say that students are demanding that they get some of this history in school. They want it, they are craving for it, and they are very verbal about it. So I want to introduce Dr. Diana Green, the superintendent here in Duval County, who is joining us today. Thank you for being a part of this. You know, you as an African-American woman, the superintendent here in Duval County, you're also making history. So that's an important thing to note. So we're happy to have you. Let's talk a little bit about our outspoken young people. We are so really proud of them. They stand up for what they want. They are not shy when they do that. You know, recently they said that they didn't appreciate something that was happening in the school that was labeled and they felt like it took away the emphasis on Black Lives Matter. How do you turn these into lessons for your students? Well, I do want to correct uh, a couple of things. It was about Black History Matters and uh, the word matter integrated with also uh, a program that is very important to us about uh, teen suicide. And it was uh, refreshing to hear our students be able to articulate their thoughts, whether it, they wanted to do something, a peaceful assembly or a protest, but they were able to articulate to their school leaders, to me, their, their feelings about not emphasizing black history. Uh, and we listened and we are going to continue to listen to them and look at what we're doing in our schools to see if there are things we should make adjustments. Yeah. There, a lot of goes into teaching black history. Our goal is to move it beyond February, that black history is American history and it needs to be integrated in our schools uh, in grades K through 12. Yeah, and, and you're doing that. I mean, there's a committee right now that's working to really integrate it into the lesson plans or schools where students can take black history. You know, let's talk a little bit about minority students and even poor students in our community. You know, the pandemic really exposed a lot of the disparities and the gaps in education. What did that signal to you as far as what needed to happen into the district to make sure that all students are educated? Well, it signaled that we had to step up and provide resources to all of our students. Uh, as you know, this time last year, we went into a complete shutdown for schools. Everyone learned from home or remotely, and very quickly we realized that not all of our students had the resources that they needed to learn remotely. So we gave out 40,000 laptops, uh, 5,000 hotspots to ensure that our students could have access to their education from home. We did mobile uh, food. We served breakfast, lunch, and supper for those uh, schools that qualified. Uh, we did the grab and go. We tried to remove the roadblocks for our students that would hinder them uh, from uh, further learning loss as we are seeing uh, this year. Right, and, and we have some images that we can show here in the museum that really kind of walk us through education over the years for the minority community. So we're looking at that now. You know, I, I think COVID, as we mentioned, exposed some things. It also allowed for opportunities to get some of those resources into homes. Where do you see Duval County School District five, 10 years from now? Well, I, I see that technology is going to have to play a major role in, for not only our school district, but for our families. And we are partnering with other uh, organizations to ensure that that technology divide starts closing that gap. And it's not just the hardware, it's being able to access the internet. That is uh, as simple as much of what we see as everyday opportunities, now it's becoming uh, sort of uh, a disparity that our families can't live without. Mm -hmm. And so something in the old days, we all had a telephone. It was just like natural. Well, now it needs to be natural that all families have access to the internet because yeah. that's how much of their information comes to them. Right. Uh, it levels with, the playing field. It levels field. the playing yeah. field. Uh, even with our remote learning, uh, for our secondary students, they are having an easier time with remote learning. But for our younger children, 
Uh, I see we're, I'm not seeing that movement that, oh, everybody's going to be learning remotely. I, I right. see for our younger students, they need they that need human that person, connection. Yeah. They need that person who is there to support them and our families, you know, they didn't go to college to be teachers right, and they're right. recognizing yeah. that it's not easy to be a teacher. It's not. Yeah, I think and all parents <laughs> definitely understood that. They, Dr. Green, thank you. Learning. Thank you so much for talking with that. You're welcome. And we know our students are, are going to make sure that they're getting that education. I know that's what you're working to do for all students, definitely. So we are live here at the Ritz Theater and Museum, and we'll be right back after a break. Our history. Joseph E. Lee was the first black attorney in Jacksonville. He completed his law degree at Howard University in 1873. As a Republican, he also served six years in the Florida House of Representatives and one term in the state Senate. He was also a municipal judge and served in various federal positions. At the height of black disenfranchisement in the South, Lee worked to educate and register black voters. Don't be a noisy neighbor. We're a neighborhood nuisance. Let's call Precision Garage Door. Precision is the trusted choice for garage door repair and replacement. If you think it's time for a new door, call Precision today and get up to $200 off your garage door. Mmm, that's Benefall grain free. It's so healthy. Ah, oh, farm raised chicken. It's good chicken. Mm, here come the accents blueberries and pumpkin. Wow. And spinach. That was my favorite bite so far. Benefall grain free. Out with the grain, in with the farm raised chicken. Healthful, flavorful, Benefall. You're clearly someone who takes care of yourself. So why wait to screen for colon cancer? Because when caught in early stages, it's more treatable. I'm Colaguard. I'm non-invasive and detect altered DNA in your stool to find 92% of colon cancers, even in early stages. Tell me more. It's for people 45 plus at average risk for colon cancer, not high risk. False positive and negative results may occur. Ask your prescriber or an online prescriber if Colaguard is right for you. I'll do it. Good plan. It's the Flooring America sales event at our brand new 9,000 square foot showroom. Hardwood, luxury vinyl, tile, carpet, laminate, and much more. All at Flooring America's affordable prices. Don't feel like leaving the house? Our mobile unit will bring the showroom to you with access to our extensive selection of the finest flooring available and free estimates. For deals and coupons, visit flooringamerica.me or stop by our brand new showroom off San Jose Boulevard. Flooring America, where friends send friends. Introducing iBuy at Hanania Subaru of Orange Park, our online buying program. With iBuy, you decide how much of your buying experience you do online. Browsing, valuing your trade, picking your payment, financing, and we'll deliver the vehicle to you. Just go to SubaruofOrangePark.com, pick out your vehicle, and click iBuy to begin. Become an iBuy preferred customer at Hanania Subaru of Orange Park. Velveeta breakfast biscuits are baked with nutritious morning energy. Energy to share a helping hand. Energy to share new ideas. Energy to share your warmth. Velveeta breakfast biscuits. It takes energy to share the energy. Precision's reason to repair or replace your garage door. Don't be a noisy neighbor. Whether it's time for a new garage door or repairing your current one, Precision is the trusted choice for garage door repair and replacement. Call Precision today and get a free service call with any repair. Hi, Ms. Verno. Are you okay? There's a man following me, and I just don't feel comfortable. For the moments that make you look over your shoulder. I have notified the police. I will be holding with you. I'm here for you. How this high-tech hair tie could get police to your location faster than calling 911 for a fraction of the price of a gun. This is no slight on the police or their dispatches, but that response was so quick. Really? And the different versions of the device for people who might not wear one of these. Smart Armor, tonight on The 10 O'Clock News. Welcome back everyone. So it is all of our history so that we can all have a better future. And this morning we are taking a deeper look at how our roots here in Florida for a better understanding of our past. So you drive down Hexford Drive or you go across the ferry when it's running. You see the signs for Kingsley Plantation. Did you know it's the oldest remaining plantation in Florida? News for Jack's reporter Lena Pringle takes us back in time with a look at life on this Marsh Island plantation at the mouth of the St. Johns River. Young, black, and stolen into slavery. This is where Anna Kingsley, an African woman who became a slave, went on to become a slave owner herself. It's a complex part of more than 200 years of history preserved right here on Kingsley Plantation. 
It is a beautiful place, yes, uh, but it is also uh, a horrible place. Kingsley Plantation is a piece of living, breathing history nestled on Fort George Island. The plantation spanned about 600 acres. It's where Zephaniah and Anna Kingsley's family lived from 1814 to 1837. Zephaniah was a, a white European uh, trader, merchant. Uh, he, he traded and sold uh, a variety of commodities from cotton to human beings. Uh, Anna, his wife, uh, was an African uh, woman from Senegal, what, we, what is now today Senegal. Uh, he purchased her at a slave auction in Cuba when she was very young uh, and married her. Anna Kingsley, one of Zephaniah's four wives, would go on to run this plantation by herself in his absence, something that was unheard of for a black woman at that time. A remarkable act of survival. She, through much of her own sheer force of will, uh, established uh, a life uh, here that was not something that, that the average enslaved person, especially an enslaved woman, would have would have been able to uh, accomplish. Walking on Kingsley Plantation is like taking a journey back in time. Witness trees like these tell a story of the past without ever using words. We know they're important because uh, here at Kingsley Plantation, the enslaved people buried their dead uh, oriented around one of these trees. Um, to me, it's a very powerful symbol uh, that this tree is still alive. This tree was, was there. It was important to the enslaved population that lived here, but it is something that you can still come and see today as a living link to show this was not that long ago. This was something that we, uh, we need to understand and learn from. All the structures here are original from the wood on the barn to the seashells in the slave cabins. History is etched in every corner, a complex history used as a living lesson. We try to give voice uh, to the people who traditionally have been voiceless. So very much of what we do here is to better understand uh, the various complicated relationships, uh, uh, try to learn about as many of the people as we can who lived here and toiled here, a difficult, painful past wrapped in nature's beauty. Kingsley Plantation serves as more than just a history lesson. Only through understanding our past can we build a better future. In Fort George Island, Lena Pringle, Channel 4, The Local Station. Wow, what a story. Yeah, so many interesting facts. I just was so amazed that in the 1800s, somebody was able to once be a slave to then becoming a slave owner. They had a polygamous relationship. She was one of four wives. They had biracial children. It was just a lot going yeah. on in the 1800s. And it's interesting because I've been to the plantation. I didn't even know that history. The one thing I did note about the location is it's right there by the water. And they, they talked about how hot it was when they actually were there mm -hmm. and the mosquitoes and how dangerous it was just to be outside, which is where they lived. Yeah, and if you've ever been to Kingsley Plantation, you know, you drive all the way through that like yeah. deep wooded area uh -huh. and to know that the enslaved people had to plow that land, cut down those trees, build around a marsh, get seashells. Yeah, I just, I don't know how they did it. But when you read her personal story, I mean, the contradictions, and it sounds like a simple response, but you go, huh? Yeah, it's, it's wild. And then you That's think wild. it's really interesting because at that time, Florida was under Spanish law. So slavery wasn't considered a genetic condition or based on your race. It was something that they encouraged people to buy themselves out of. So the slaves that she did own, they were working towards their freedom and they would be let go. So it was never something that was like based on genetics. And then once that shifted in the country is when they ended up leaving and they took their biracial children and moved on. So. Have to know our history. Got to know your you history. Know. What a time. Sure. These past two hours have been one giant history lesson. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. back. Black History Month is about paying homage to those that believe in democracy. But democracy is still ongoing. I will encourage all citizens in this community of Jacksonville to read, understand those disparities of what racism and systematic coexist and never have been addressed. Read, understand where people are coming from is my message. Hi, I'm Wayne, owner of PuroClean Emergency Services. If you have fire, flood, or mold damage, dial pound for help from your cell phone 24 hours a day. That's pound for help. Slip and fall, just call Pendas. Offices, Jacksonville. We fit a lot of life into our Subaru Forester. It's good to be back. 
Over the years, we trusted it to carry and protect the things that were most important to us. Good boy. We always knew we had a lot of life ahead of us. Remember this? <laughs> That's why we chose a car we knew would be there for us through it all. Welcome to the Subaru Forester, the longest lasting, most trusted Forester ever. With Sharp's one day floor coatings, you can upgrade your pool deck, garage, patio, or driveway. Most of our jobs only take one day to install, but last a lifetime. Unlike typical epoxy paint, our coatings are six times stronger and physically bond to your concrete, giving you a durable surface that lasts. Take your concrete to the next level with a durable, stylish coating that is sure to impress. Book soon to enjoy $300 off your project. Call now, 904-519-5055. Doctors Lake Family Dental takes care of your entire family. Now open with extended hours, we make a trip to the dentist easy for everyone. At Doctors Lake Family Dental, we go above and beyond the required health care protocols so you can enjoy a safe and comfortable experience. No insurance? No problem. Payment plans are available or we will work with your insurance provider. Call us today to book your reservation. Doctors Lake Family Dental, where patient care is family care. Your wireless, your rules, your savings. When you get Xfinity Mobile and Internet together, you could save up to $300 a year. Choose from flexible wireless data options on the most reliable network. Now with nationwide 5G included at no extra cost. Get this special offer on Xfinity Mobile and Internet together for just $35 a month and save up to $300 a year on your wireless bill. Click, call, or visit a store today. Still a traffic jam, just better views. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still your to-do list, just getting more done. Still packing up, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Get a $4,250 cash allowance on all 2021 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. $50,000 for an injury claimant might sound good, but what if another firm would have recovered $500,000? Many people get ripped off by the insurance company and their own lawyer. We fight to get you every single dollar. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Exact Track 4D detects dangerous weather days ahead of time, so you can make the right plans for your family. And there we go, back to my, um, my office away from my office. World Golf Village standing here, rooftop view as we look out. The clouds are continuing to blend away. Even our low haze, you can see it fading as the fountains are on. Let's get the day started as we'll shed the dampness. Clearing will continue and that takes us to sunny skies. And then we've got that duration of sun-filled skies before those temperatures will start to tumble overnight tonight. 50s right now and we're back to widespread southeast Georgia after seeing some of the 40s. We've got 50s in a line, 54, 55, 56, 57. Oh, we're just missing the 58 and then we could make the jump there into the 60s. Light to calm winds as you move through southeast Georgia. It starts to pick up a bit as you head beachside. Double digits starting to stack up in St. Augustine. What can we expect for today? How about clearing and cool conditions? And by cool, we're talking about upper 60s to those lower 70s. A little bit warmer here for Wednesday. And we continue that trend as we get toward the end of the work week here. Even the weekend, a little sneak peek, as we'll have temperatures that are going to go above our seasonal number. We should be, and today is going to be what would be a seasonal daytime high. And that's upper 60s to our lower 70s day by day will start to warm this up and it does continue into the weekend. This is showing Fernandina here at 70 degrees and I'm thinking as you get into uh, across the bridges there into the mainland you could see some Palm Coast that is an inland temp that is at State Road 100. The rest of the areas the upper 60s and again I wouldn't rule out some low 70s southward here along the beaches as you get to southern Saint, uh, southern Flagler County around the restaurant row and continue that into Volusia County with our temperatures that will see widespread 70s. A number that is up for today and you might feel yourself with the sniffles and sneezes here anything that you're walking on under and or going oh that's pretty it's trying to get you to sneeze. There's that cool shot again there's actually two of these that came through on Snapjacks. One's a little closer but this one's neat as you can see his uh, partner over here is there out getting their wind foil on that is just it looks a lot uh it looks fun i like the uh, kite surfing but that maybe 
a bit more of a workout here. So I've never done it. 70 degrees, daytime high. We've got the uh, rain chances here. Zippo, and that's what will continue as we make our way all the way around the arc that takes us up to the 70s this afternoon. We'll find our temperatures about four degrees more for our Wednesday. Add a couple of more to it on Thursday. Near similar temperatures here for Thursday as we get ready for the weekend and that southerly flow returns. It's the 70s that will take us to the 80s here on Sunday. A trend that continues as we get you back to the work week. In life, there are haves and have nots. At Fair and Farrah, we're here to protect the have nots. Call us. And remember, what are we not going to mention to Grandma? That Grandpa loves redheads? That Lazy got a lower back tattoo? That you have trust issues? That mom doesn't really have a headache every Sunday? The 2021 Toyota Highlander. Perfect for the not-so-perfect family. Lease a new 2021 Toyota Highlander LE for just $329 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. I have a question for you. What are you doing today to reach your weight loss and wellness goals? We can't do this wellness journey alone, right? Find that right coach, the one that speaks to you. And you'll hear that thing that you need to hear. We've all got your back. Team Lisa, this week alone, has lost 4,000 pounds. We're all here to help you succeed. Kickstart your weight loss with the new Digital 360 membership from WW. Weight Watchers Reimagined. Don't pay till May. Get your first three months free. Ends February 27th. You know the one thing all superheroes have in common? They save. Be a hero for your child by saving for college with a risk-free, worry-free Florida 529 prepaid plan. With a variety of plans to fit your budget and saving style, you can give them a future that will let them soar. Florida prepaid open enrollment is now. Enroll today. I lie on the floor all day, which is how I got the gig as the Carpet One spokes dog. But I'm kind of chill, and Carpet One wanted excitement for their waterproof flooring sale. So I did a jingle. Has water messed your floors up? Good. Woo Save money on floors that are waterproof. Visit Carpet One. Nailed it. Save up to $1,000 during the Carpet One Floor and Home Waterproof Flooring Sale. Going on now. I think the best fashions, the best designs, even the best rooms borrow a little from here and a little from there. At Rooms to Go, the incredible selection of styles makes finding it all easy. So you can go piece by piece or room by room. As long as you love what you put together, there's no wrong way to get there. And because it's Rooms to Go, you know it won't just be affordable, it'll be amazing. Anything's possible at Rooms to Go. It's the Super Cashback Event at Tire Kingdom. Get $100 cash back when you buy four select tires with paid installation. Plus, save up to $200 on mechanical service and repairs only at Tire Kingdom. Auto accident? Just call Pandas. Offices, Jacksonville. As we close out our special, our history, our future, you know, we definitely want to say thank you to the Ritz. It is a beautiful space here in La Villa. And if you ever want to come and take your own tour, they are open Monday through Friday from 10 to 4. Also visit newsforjacks.com because there's some amazing extras you'll find on there and some amazing stories as well. Appreciate you joining us. The News at 9 starts after the break. Hi, I'm Wayne, owner of PuroClean Emergency Services. If you have fire, flood, or mold damage, dial pound for help from your cell phone 24 hours a day. That's pound for help. It's official. Real customers have spoken. Subaru of Jacksonville on Atlantic was just awarded Dealer Raiders Dealer of the Year for the seventh year in a row. Drive a new Subaru for 0% financing, including the Outback starting at just $26,299. Or lease a new 21 Forester or Outback for only $249 a month. Plus a complimentary national lifetime warranty or two years maintenance with every new Subaru. Experience the Subaru of Jacksonville difference. Your favorite Subaru dealership for a generation and counting. Drive a Subaru. You'll buy a Subaru. Here's to the self-starters, the brewers, the bakers, the builders, those who start with nothing, but still create something, something bigger. Not just for them, for all of us. 
our town, our home. That's why we're proud to invest 100% locally. One to One Financial, Jacksonville's hometown credit union. People often ask, how much do I have to pay you up front to be my lawyer? The answer is nothing. It's free unless we win. Personal injury, car crash, slip and fall, it's free unless we win. We never take a fee until we win your case. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. You can depend on Florida farmers. We are your neighbors. Our farm is where we live and work. It's where we raise our families and provide for yours. When you see our logo in the store, you know that our name is on it because we stand behind it. When you shop for Florida-grown fruits and vegetables, look for local. Choose fresh from Florida. Positively Jacks is sponsored by Rhino Shield. You'll never have to paint again. Smart Armor, tonight on the 10 o'clock news. Live from the local station, the morning show starts now. Right now at 9 o'clock, remembering Ahmad Arbery one year after he was shot and killed while jogging near Brunswick. The way friends and family are honoring his legacy, plus the impact his death could have on the state of Georgia for years to come. Good Tuesday morning to you. We are going to get to that story in just a few minutes. But first, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is about to hold a news conference. He's at a pharmacy in Hialeah. It's a neighborhood pharmacy. This is in the Miami area, if you're not familiar with Hialeah. As soon as the governor steps in front of the podium, we'll certainly bring you his comments on air. Uh, we expect that the comments will have something to do very likely with COVID-19 vaccine. So stay with us for that. In the meantime, it is a warm start to the day. Let's bring Richard Nunn into the conversation. Rich, this is flip-flop weather. We are looking at a gorgeous day with flip-flops and sunshades out there. And as long as is the pollen's not going to get to you. Almost an eight on the scale for today and everything. Everything is coming awake. Uh, let's see, you got grass trees and that's pretty much it right now that are trying to get you to sneeze, but flowers are also blooming. Anyway, we're in the upper 50s on our way to the 60s. So my point was with temperatures that may be coming up shy during the afternoon of where we would have our needle set inside of the house, that makes it that much better for open window weather days. The double nickel giving way to our 60s that continue area wide. And that's where we are now after bottoming out in the upper 40s here across, well, I should say, 40s into southeast Georgia and then it was the 50s that continued as we get out beachside but here's what we're looking for today and since it glitched last time perfect we've got the beaches flip flops absolutely put them in your hand get the toes in the sand that's a way to spend part of your afternoon and if we're stuck here in the inland areas that still isn't looking too bad at 70 degrees if the pollen doesn't get you like I mentioned we can do the open window weather thing Jen that starts today and it's a trend that continues we'll pick the story up there when we see you back here at 9 30. All right, Rich, appreciate it. Right now we are following a breaking traffic alert. Want to give you a live look right now. This is near the South Bank, not too far from our Channel 4 studios. You're looking live at one of our DOT cameras. That's I-95 at the Acosta Bridge exit. We are told at least one person was trapped after a crash. You can see two southbound lanes are blocked. Crews working there right now. Traffic is still moving but there are cones up, so be extra careful in that area. Maybe give yourself some extra time, too, because there are some slowdowns on both sides of the highway as just people try to get around this. We're going to let you know if that situation changes. Today marks one year since Ahmad Arbery was shot and killed while running in the Satilla Shores neighborhood just outside of Brunswick, Georgia. Tonight, the community is invited to attend a, a, a memorial run in his memory. It will start at the entrance of the Satilla Shores neighborhood at 530. Another vigil is planned at a church in Waynesboro, which is where the 25 year old was buried. Both are open to the public. Attendees are asked to wear blue ribbons. News for Jack's reporter Kelly Wiley sat down with Arbery's mother and had this to say about how she wants her son to be remembered. Ahmad, just, he just wasn't a jogger. Ahmad was a son first. He was a brother. He has two siblings, Jasmine and Marcus. He's an uncle at the time. He had two nephews, Marcus and Makai. He was, he was a great uncle. He was a grandson. He was a, he was a uncle. And he just wasn't 
an African American guy that went jogging. Amat was loved. And we will have more from Kelly's one on one interview tonight on News for Jax. Meanwhile, three men are now charged with murder in connection with the killing. Gregory McMichael and his son Travis were arrested in May, one day before what would have been Arbery's 26th birthday. A third man, William Roddy Bryan, who recorded the shooting, was arrested just days later. All three have pleaded not guilty. Georgia's citizens arrest law was initially cited as the reason a prosecutor decided not to charge the men involved in Arbery shooting death. Now Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, as we know, is asking lawmakers to repeal the law and replace it with one he says will prevent, quote, vigilante style violence. Now, the changes would mean ordinary citizens could not detain someone they suspect of a crime. Deadly force, however, would still be allowed in cases of self-defense or, for example, when someone breaks into a home. Earlier on the morning show, I spoke with a Brunswick defense attorney who's not affiliated in any way with the case about Georgia's citizen's arrest law. He explained, uh, g giving us really kind of a deeper look as to how it could impact the defense in the Arbery case. I anticipate that the McMichaels especially will use Georgia's citizen's arrest law as their primary defense. What they're going to say is that we had a reason to believe that Ahmad Arbery had committed a crime, a felony offense, and we were simply going to try to stop him, uh, detain him, and then contact law enforcement to come and arrest him. But while we were trying to detain him, he came at us, uh, especially Travis McMichael will say this. Now, I'm not saying that defense is going to work, but given the circumstances, I certainly expect that's what they're going to try to say to avoid murder charges in this case. And we should point out that Arbery was not armed that day. And also, if you look very closely at the video, according to prosecutors, you see Arbery actually diverts and tries to avoid the men initially. Now, Governor Kemp also signed a new hate crime law last summer, by the way. It includes tougher penalties for crimes motivated by a victim's race, religion, sex, gender, or disability. Happening right now, an appeals court will hear arguments in former Congresswoman Corrine Brown's attempt to overturn her conviction. This started at the top of the hour. Brown's attorneys say a juror was improperly replaced during deliberations during her trial after he said that the Holy Spirit told him Brown was not guilty. They argue the decision to remove the juror amounts to discrimination on the basis of religion. Prosecutors say the juror did not properly weigh the evidence in the case. Brown was convicted of using contributions to the One Door for Education charity for personal expenses and events. We will monitor today's hearing and let you know what happens on air and online at news4jacks.com. Also happening today, lawmakers will question a group of Capitol security officials about the deadly Capitol riot on January 6th. Three resigned, you may remember, immediately after that attack. Senators will speak with the former Senate Sergeant at Arms, former House Sergeant at Arms, former Capitol Police Chief, and the Acting Chief of the Metropolitan Police Department. Today's hearing will focus on what security plans were put in place beforehand why the response from law enforcement was delayed, and how rioters were able to actually breach the building. Lawmakers say the goal is to prevent the same thing from ever happening again. Big decisions have to be made, including who will be hired uh, as a new police chief, um, and what better protocols can be put in place, what better structure. At least one more hearing with more witnesses is scheduled for Thursday. Let's take you now to Hialeah, where Governor yeah, DeSantis is so speaking. Let's all, listen that's in. That's all on me. I'd like to uh, recognize uh, Ahmed Velez, who's the regional director of CVS Health. Uh, and he's, uh, where's he at? Okay, yeah, so he's going to say a few words. And then, look, we got the murderer's row here with elected officials. I mean, we have Senator Diaz, uh, Ana Maria Rodriguez is here. We have uh, Representatives Perez, Fabricio, Alex Rizzo, Representative Cabrera, Pepe Diaz, Lieutenant Governor Nunez, County Mayor. I mean, did I miss anybody? Wow, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good. It's fitting because I think today is um, a really uh, exciting announcement. Uh, so I'm here, very excited to be able to announce that uh, starting tomorrow, seniors age 65 and older in Miami-Dade County will be able to schedule an appointment to get vaccinated at every single one of the 31 Navarro discount pharmacies in Miami-Dade County and every single one of the 35 CVS EMOS stores in Miami-Dade County. 
Fifteen traditional CVS stores will also be offering the vaccine in numerous other counties. There is going to be one of those in Dade uh, throughout the state. And basically, they were selected to help ensure vaccines reach underserved areas. Uh, one will be in Dade, as I mentioned, two in Broward, one in Palm Beach, one in Collier, one in Hillsboro, one in Manatee, one in Hendry, two in Polk, one in St. Lucie, one in Volusia, one in Flagler, one in Gadsden, and one in Escambia. So once appointments are made, vaccinations will begin later this week. We They think Thursday, the vaccines are supposed to arrive today, um, but once you go on tomorrow, you'll be able to select and make an appointment. So to make an appointment at a Navarro Discount Pharmacy, CVS EMOS, or traditional CVS Pharmacy, please visit cvs.com. There's a prominent display at the top of the website. When you put in your zip code, you will be directed to the best options. That's Florida Governor Ron DeSantis speaking along with local leaders in Hialeah. That's the Miami area. They are talking about more vaccinations being available. The backdrop there, a CVS pharmacy. For more details, go to our website, newsforjacks.com. We are streaming it live right there. We will be right back. Join Planet Fitness today for $1 down, $10 a month. No commitment. We're squeaky clean with tons of equipment and plenty of space to spread out. Don't wait. Join the judgment-free zone today. Join in club or online for just $1 down. Hurry offer ends March 1st. Just call Pendas. Just call Pendas. Just call Pendas. Just call Pendas. Well, you heard them. Accident, just call Pendas. There's no job too big or too small when it comes to Atlantic Coast Appliance. Our trained technicians are committed to providing fast, superb service for all your major home appliances, including Sub-Zero. Our family-owned and operated business has served Jacksonville and northern St. John's County for over 40 years. Keeping your appliances running smoothly and efficiently, we offer a 90-day warranty on both parts and labor. So give us a call and let our family help your family. Atlantic Coast Appliance, your local and trusted appliance repair experts. Ever since Daryl's family started using Gain Flings, their laundry smells more amazing than ever. Uh, honey, isn't that the dog's towel? <laughs> hey, me towel, suit towel. There's more Gain scent plus Oxy Boost and Febreze odor remover in every fling. Gain, seriously good scent. Love the scent of Gain Flings? Then you'll swoon for long lasting Gain scent beads. With Sharp's one-day floor coatings, you can upgrade your pool deck, garage, patio, or driveway. Most of our jobs only take one day to install, but last a lifetime. Unlike typical epoxy paint, our coatings are six times stronger and physically bond to your concrete, giving you a durable surface that lasts. Take your concrete to the next level with a durable, stylish coating that is sure to impress. Look soon to enjoy $300 off your project. Call now, 904-519-5055. Still a traffic jam, just better views. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still your to-do list, just getting more done. Still packing up, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Get a $4,250 cash allowance on all 2021 Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. At Harrell & Harrell, we've taken on some of the biggest trucking companies and retailers in the country. We have the money and resources to stand up to anyone. Put our resources and experience to work for you. Harrell & Harrell, don't settle for less than you deserve. Join Planet Fitness today for $1 down, $10 a month. No commitment. We're squeaky clean with tons of equipment and plenty of space to spread out. Don't wait. Join the judgment-free zone today. Join in club or online for just $1 down. Hurry offer ends March 1st. It happens in plain sight. Human trafficking is one of the most serious and popular crimes in the world. It tears apart communities, it fuels criminal activity, and it threatens the national security right here in the United States. Nationwide, Florida ranks with the highest in human trafficking rates. In fact, during the Super Bowl, there were 47 arrests for human trafficking-related charges. 22 people were rescued from those circumstances. But there are ways that you can help support local survivors. 
Rethreaded is a social enterprise that employs survivors of human trafficking, and it's hosting its 10th annual gala in just a few days. Obviously, this year it's going to be a little different. So joining us this, more, this morning to talk more about how you can get involved, Kristen Keene, the founder and CEO of Rethreaded. Good morning to you, Kristen. Good morning. So let's talk about the problems first. Human trafficking really happens everywhere. We've been doing a lot of investigations here at News for Jacks. It is all over. No community is immune from it. Yes, and we are so thankful for your coverage. We're so thankful for you bringing awareness. Everyone thinks it happens overseas, over there, not in our neighborhood, but 100% of the women that we work with at Rethreaded were trafficked right here in Jacksonville. And these are women from all walks of life, all different backgrounds, and they're courted in different ways. They fall into this differently. Yeah, each one of our women have, uh, human trafficking is used to force fraud or coercion to perform a sex act for profit. So each of our women experienced force, fraud, and coercion, um, and that exploited their vulnerabilities, and that's how they ended up in human trafficking. Every time we do human trafficking research and investigations, we hear about rethreaded, and that's certainly because of you and your team. You do so many amazing things here in our community. Tell me exactly how your organization works. Well, our organization provides long-term employment for survivors of human trafficking. And while they're employed with us for two to five years, we provide mental health counseling and care management services. So what we do is we provide viable income in a safe trauma-informed environment and then give women resources um, so they can become who they're created to be so that they can reclaim their life. And it's a program that really works. We've seen so many survivors just... Uh, flourish under the direction of Rethreaded, and that's thanks to, to all the volunteers, all the staff members, everybody involved. And, of course, it has to be paid for somehow, so that's where this gala is hoping to fill that need. Yes, which is why I'm on the news in a gala dress. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. You said it. Year, <laughs> I'll let you bring that is, up. <laughs> this year is virtual, so everyone can play. You can wear everything from your uh, dress to your PJs and change lives for survivors of human trafficking. And you can participate in many different ways. The gala is going to be streamed live stream on Facebook and YouTube um, this Saturday from 6 to 7.30. And every single dime we raise goes back directly to provide all the services that we talked about. We employ two mental health counselors, care managers, um, and then everyone can participate this year in our silent auction. So that started Friday. Um, we have amazing gifts, including amazing things for auctions. We have a private flight to Savannah, Georgia with dinner, a limo ride um, to, to dinner. We have flowers for a lifetime. And then this painting right here, I don't know if you can show it. This painting is actually done by one of our survivors. It's called wow. the theme this year of Mukti is Through the Fire. And this is her interpretation of Through the Fire um, abstract acrylic painting so this is online as well and to participate in our silent auction all you have to do is text mukti 2021 which is the name of our gala to 76278 it's right mm -hmm. there in the corner right there um, and you can participate again we have amazing amazing prizes you can don't you can um, bid on and again everything goes to changing lives for survivors of human trafficking you know the interesting thing is you've been doing this for 10 years now Usually you have to have a ticket, you've got to get dressed up, not everyone can go. This time you're opening it up so people that don't necessarily know everything about Rethreaded or want to learn more can go on there, learn more, and, and decide if that's a charity they want to support. Yeah, everyone plays this year, which is what we love. And honestly, it takes a community of people to keep a woman in trafficking and it takes a community of people to give a woman freedom from trafficking. and. We are just calling you to be part of our rethreaded community um, just to continue to create opportunities. So we want everyone to come, everyone to participate, everyone to come learn and experience the hope and resilience um, that we see from our, our survivors. Kristen Keene, CEO and founder of Rethreaded, we appreciate all that you and your team do in the community. One more time, if you want to sign up, Rethreaded. Dot org. We're also going to post that link on our website, newsforjacks.com. Thank you, Vic. Jen? Dialing 911 may be even easier with new technology that also allows for you to be more discreet. We'll explain next. 
Saving the day since 1983. David Gray, Electrical, Plumbing, Heating and Air. Our firm was built on the trust of our clients, and we've had to earn that trust. And we earned that trust one case at a time. They earned my respect just by giving me all the options I had in front of me. I had a person in my corner that I could trust that had my back. Fair and fair was there when I needed them. I trust Fair and fair. They gave me that confidence that they would take care of me. You earn trust by keeping your word with the client. Fair and Farah, here for you, here for good. Let's get ready to sell. A home selling with OfferPad is as easy as... Welcome to OfferPad, how can we help? List with Flex and get our house ready to show. Ooh, that's home listing with muscle. House updates to help us sell for more. Sure, reno advance, our team is on it. When we're through, this place is gonna look amazing. You know, I have this feeling, it's never wrong. Any way you want to sell, you're sold with OfferPad. Start your free sales request at OfferPad.com today. Go online. Go in-store. At rooms to go you can try before you buy. Or buy without ever leaving home. You can go living rooms. Go dining rooms. Go bedrooms. Plus, get free doorway delivery on the furniture you love. And always for the lowest price. That's rooms to go Go style, go savings, go today. Rooms to go, let's go. Now, more than ever, we all need a plan for our health. Care Plus is here with the Medicare benefits you need, like a reduction in your Medicare Part B premium, a monthly allowance for over-the-counter products, and a $0 copay for routine dental, vision, and hearing coverage. Plus, Medicare's 5 out of 5-star rating for excellence for 2021. For the fourth time, Friendly local agents can help you choose your Care Plus plan right over the phone. So call today. It's important when you hire the largest injury law firm in the world that you're treated in a very personal and attentive way and with respect. That's why every client doesn't get just one lawyer, you get your own team, so you're never lost in the shuffle. And listen to this, you also get our dedicated client satisfaction department 24-7. If you have any concerns about your case, our guarantee is you'll hear back before the day is over. There's only one Morgan & Morgan for the people. Hi, Mr. Arno, are you okay? There's a man following me and I just don't feel comfortable. For the moments that make you look over your shoulder. I have notified the police. I will be holding with you and I'm here for you. How this high-tech hair tie could get police to your location faster than calling 911 for a fraction of the price of a gun. This is no slight on the police or their dispatches, but that response was so quick. Really? And the different versions of the device for people who might not wear one of these. Smart Armor, tonight on The 10 O'Clock News. Now we want to go into that story in more detail. Smart Armor, a story that you will see tonight on the 10 o'clock news. We all know calling 911 is as easy as picking up your phone. But what about those situations where you don't have those extra seconds or you need to be discreet in making that call for safety? That's where something like this comes in. It's called Smart Armor. Companies have taken bulky panic buttons and turned them into these, this is actually a necklace. There's lots of different versions of it. They're compact devices. And with a double click of the button right here on the back of this, up to five people of your choosing will be alerted to your location. In December, one company paired up with ADT. Think of what happens when a house alarm goes off. That same access is available with these two clicks. We've seen, you know, all the way through domestic violence situations. We've seen medical emergencies. So it's a broad scale of the type of help that people need out there. Tonight, News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno and News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson put this new technology to the test to see what happens in a real life emergency scenario. You can watch Smart, uh, Smart Armor tonight only on the 10 o'clock news. A new underground house could keep you safe from a nuclear war. How much does luxury bomb shelter cost and why was it built in the first place? Plus, you, you'll be able to experience the cuisine, the artistry, customs from lands near and far. Up next, the World of Nations event is happening this weekend. What to expect during the celebration ahead. But first, let's take a live look outside right now. Oh, is that picture perfect? 
nice warm start to your day. Some people down there, you know that you're jealous. They're down there on the beach. Looks like they're doing some stretching, a little yoga. This will be a nice day to take a walk on the beach. But what about rain and what about cooler temperatures? Will they return? Richard's forecast is ahead. Sure, it's a nice day to take a walk on the beach. How about taking a ride on the water? Dash was back out there until they had the other shot there. This is out at Huguenot Park before the uh, rain. Just a cool shot as a couple of folks are out there riding the foil. News 4 Jacks, coverage that won't waste your time. Breaking news knows no bounds. Marine 4 gets you closer to stories that matter most. From severe storms on local shores to emergencies along the St. John's, Marine 4 is there. Channel 4, the local station. Just, Just call Pendas. Just, Just call Pendas. Just call Pendas. Just call Pendas. Well, you heard them. Accident, just call Pandas. The most important thing in the Chevy Equinox is not front pedestrian braking. And it's not forward collision alert either. No, the most important thing in the Equinox isn't any of the advanced safety features we've put into it. It's what you put into it. Chevy Safety Assist, standard on every 2021 Chevy Equinox. Current competitive owners can get a 4750 total cash allowance on most 2021 Equinox models. See your Southern Chevy dealers. How's she doing? Oh, better now, but the hospital says she needs to rest. You gave us a real scare. We were so worried, Mama. That was serious. We weren't ready to say goodbye. Don't worry. I'm not leaving just yet. But it's important that you know now. I have a plan. If anything happens to me, Neither of you will need to worry. Just make sure everyone remembers all the good times we had. When our time comes, our families will already be under enough stress. Don't leave them with a financial burden as well. If you are between 45 and 85, you automatically qualify for up to 25,000 in life insurance. Acceptance is guaranteed. You cannot be turned down for any reason. Mama, you were able to get life insurance, but you're not in perfect health. I didn't have to be. There's no medical exams, no blood tests. It was so easy. Get guaranteed immediate acceptance starting at $2.03 a week. And benefit claims can be paid in as little as 24 hours. It only took five minutes and one call. Now you won't have to worry about things like funeral costs. Instead, we can focus on the time we have together. The cost of a funeral can be $8,000 or more. Social Security may only provide a death benefit of $255. That may not be enough. But with one call today, you can lock in affordable rates for the rest of your life and help protect your loved ones with up to $25,000 in life insurance. Plus, with up to a 60-day free look, your satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. Mama knows best. Always has. You know I've always taken care of you both. You think I'm going to stop now? Help protect the ones you love. Call now to get a guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance policy with up to 25000 in benefits. It's easy, and coverage begins from your very first payment. Don't delay. Call now. 800-575-1256. Your acceptance is guaranteed. Make the call today. 800-575-1256. Call now. Velveeta breakfast biscuits are baked with nutritious morning energy. Good morning to you. Energy to share a helping hand. Energy to share new ideas energy to share your warmth. Velveeta Breakfast Biscuits. It takes energy to share the energy. You're watching Channel 4, the local station. Live with Vic Michelucci, Lauren Verno, the weather authority forecast with Mark Collins. Traffic and breaking news with Sky 4. The morning show continues. Welcome back. It is Tuesday morning and a lot of people have reasons to celebrate because, Jen, that weather is oh so comfortable at least. This <laughs> is one of those days you just don't want to go to work, right? Or you're, you're hoping that you get to work out of the house because maybe it's your lunch break. You can step mm. outside, maybe head to the beach. Stick your toes in the sand. It is gorgeous out there, Rich. Yeah, flip-flops in the hand, toes in the sand on a day like today. And I love it, too, because it is a little bit cool. So if you've got, say, a long sleeve shirt, you got shorts on, and you're walking, and you hit the little soft spots, not so much here in the hard pack, but up in the soft, where your toes sink down. Normally, it's reversed in the summertime where it gets really hot. Now it's going to be like, ooh, it's got a little bit of a chill as we continue. 60 degrees, and that's a great day. It's a great day to chill 
at the beach. You've got clearing conditions that continue. Sunny skies have already developed in our cloud cover. A little bit left over here to the south. That too will continue to blend away as temperatures continue to slowly warm. The double nickel up to the upper 50s now at McClenny, slipping southward. Lots of 60s here. 7, 8, actually we go back to 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 mile an hour winds that continue out of the northwest. And what we'll see here with that is going to continue the clearing. It also ushers in drier air and the important part of that is the atmosphere will continue. We'll feel it atmospherically here as the 70s are going to feel as advertised. And as the temperatures drop, they do some more readily under the drier atmosphere. So it sets us up for what will be some cooler, chilly conditions here for the start of Wednesday. But our daytime highs day by day continue to climb. So for this afternoon, we're looking at 70s. Northwest winds will continue to pump in the drier air. That's where we'll cap for today. Area wide though, with these 70s here starting at I-95, continue the trend inland. This is widespread. The margins really aren't all that wide though. We're looking at what, 71, 73 degrees. And also in Southeast Georgia, pretty tight with what could be some upper 60s and lower 70s mixed in. And I just say that because the colors have not changed all morning long. That area of green continues to show what would be closer to the upper 60s. Walking under it, whether it's the juniper, the oak, um, it looked like even the pear trees were trying to bloom. Hickory is usually one of the last, but grass starting to turn green here. So if the roots or as the roots, I should say, start to awaken, the pollen's going to be coming up and just leave your car your laptop, your phone uh, sitting for just a minute. And you can see as it starts to develop that dust over the top. Yeah, so a couple of cool shots here is Dasher and friends out there skirting along outside of Huguenot Park. What a fun way to spend the day. Ride on the uh, walk on the beach or ride on the water. And if you look, these are, see where the board looks like it's just over the water. I think this whole thing is not just kite foil, but also foiling on the board. So these um, kind of come up out of the water and they ride on a little uh, little fin. 70 degrees, normally the surfboard fins are in the ground, but this is where the board will actually kind of come up. 70 degrees, daytime high. We've got those lower 70s that continue falling off. I mean, we're talking a 10 degree spread here from seven o'clock to our temperatures at nine, which are already at that point in the lower 50s, a trend that will take us down to the upper 30s, 40s in Southeast Georgia, mainly 40s, upper 40s, lower 50s beach side here as we start Wednesday. Temperatures continue to warm. We're talking mid 70s here as we close out the work week. And this is the best part here with warmer overnight temperatures and an article that you'll be able to see tomorrow if you get our weather uh, alert newsletter, I think it's called. But anyway, you'll find as our temperatures start to warm, this wakes up the roots and then this gets everything starting to grow, whether it's the grasses, trees, all that stuff. And so we start to think ahead after a real soggy start to what could be some days to lay down some nutrients so that you have a healthy lawn this season. You can stay ahead of all those changes. Your weather authority forecast always just a click away at News for Jacks. Yeah, and I love looking at that weather forecast because the World of Nations celebration is happening this weekend. It's a three-day multicultural festival that allows attendees to explore different nations, the food, my favorite, the music, and the art. There will be some changes this year, though, because of the pandemic. We want to make sure that everyone is safe. Nikki Kimbleton with the city of Jacksonville joins us via Zoom to explain what guests can expect. Good morning to you, Nikki. It's very nice to meet you. Uh, you know, very nice to meet you, too. I, I've heard a lot of great things about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people Thanks say for having me along. today. This is a little different <laughs> getting to join you this way, but what an exciting event to come to be here to, to talk to you about today, Vic. Yeah, so World of Nations is something that so many people look forward to because that's what makes Jacksonville so great. We have so many vibrant cultures here, and the city wants to embrace that, and we're not going to let the pandemic stop it. No, we are not. And if you think of it this way, you know, we really can't travel to these countries right now, but you could do it here in your own backyard. 24 different countries. You're going to be able to go to each of those. It's a three day festival. It is going to kick off on Friday and we have some new and exciting things this year. So Friday morning from nine to 11, we are trying something new. We're going to be sensory friendly. So for those individuals, you know, that have uh, sensitivities to things like light, touch or sound, this is going to be a great environment for them and they're going to be able able to experience this cultural event. Also returning this year, we have a naturalization ceremony that's going to be showcased Friday at one o'clock. And that's going to be when a few pre-selected individuals are going to take the oath of allegiance. And that's really the last step to becoming a U.S. citizen. And you mentioned the food. OK, are you ready for this, Vic? I know you're going to love oh, this. I'm part. ready. You know that, All right, you know that so I got a little affinity towards some food. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, me too. Uh, <laughs> so hey, oh. 24 different countries. Each country is going to be offering food this year. They're going to have small plates that you can purchase for a minimal amount. But if you like it, you can go back and get a larger plate. So 24 different types of food options from all different countries. We have the USA, Bahamas, South Africa, Colombia, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Japan. Uh, we've got Costa Rica. I mean, so we have you covered in any way possible. One thing, though, that is very, very, very important, you need to bring a credit or debit card because that's going to be the only way that you can pay um, when you for admission if you're if you're paying at the door and also when you're buying that food. Okay, so we're not going to bring any cash this year because of all that concern with the pandemic and making sure that mm -hmm. everything is safe. What about the distancing? How are you making sure that that works out so that these vendors can still have people come by, but nobody feels like they're nervous in a big crowd? Right, and I'm, I'm glad you asked that. We're taking it very seriously. First of all, when you go to Jack's worldofnations.com to purchase your ticket. You're able to read the rules and regulations right there and you are agreeing to follow them when you make that ticket purchase. So what we're asking is that unless you're actively drinking or eating, which by the way, when you're doing one of those, we want you to stand still and not be walking around with your mask off, but that's the only time we want you to have your face uncovered. Otherwise, we want you to wear your masks. We're gonna have sanitation stations throughout the event so you can make sure that you're keeping your hands clean um, after you're touching different things. Things. And we also have the booths spread pretty far apart. It's in a very large area, the tailgaters parking area across from TIAA Bank Field. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of space. We're going to keep everybody socially distanced and we're going to keep everybody safe. You know, one more thing I want to mention is that this year we're really excited. I mean, we have record ticket sales right now. I think we're up to 1,971 tickets sold. Now, remember, that's still over that three day period. And again, we are taking socially social distancing and the CDC guidelines very seriously. Nick, let's talk about this because so many people look forward to it. And unfortunately, we have had to do so many news stories on events being canceled, things being shut down because of the virus. What went into the decision to say, hey, let's figure out a way to make sure that we're still able to get all of these vendors, get all of these people to represent their countries and, of course, the guests in here? I mean, obviously, it's a difficult decision to make. I mean, it really is. We just knew that this was so important to the community. It's important for education when it comes to students, um, but it's also just important, you know, to keep things going. And when we're able to get back to some sort of normalcy, that we can do that. So a lot of pre-planning went into this. First of all, we picked a location that was very widespread. So that way we can spread out. Um, people don't, you know, can, they don't have to be in close proximity. Um, no matter the crowd that we get, we're going to be able to safely socially distance. But it really was a lot of factors. And I think that was one of the main ones to make sure that we could get everybody in an outdoor environment and that they're safely at least six feet apart. Hey, thank you, Nikki Kimbleton. I can't wait to meet you someday. <laughs> I, you know, hey, and your mom just texted and said that oh, um, no. she thinks. No, 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 we're not going into any text yeah, messages between a, a you nice and my mom. Place to bring a nice girl. You That's are out said. of this world. Okay, we're cutting this interview. Nikki Kimbleton, <laughs> City of Jacksonville, World Love of Nations. You, buy your tickets in advance. And uh, we're, we're going to send that one. Send that one packing. <laughs> it's all right, Nikki. I'll just go ahead and tease him about it also. No. It's a family affair around here. All right, so forget adding a pool or sports court to your home. One of the hottest properties for sale in Sin City, believe it or not, includes a, a doomsday bunker. <laughs> we'll give you a look inside this luxury shelter. There's even a pool. Really? We'll show you. The news team you can trust. That's the News 4 Jacks difference. It's Empire Today's biggest sale. The 50-50-50 sale. 50% off carpet and flooring. 50% off padding and materials. And 50% off installation. That's right. Half off your entire project. You can save thousands. Empire's 50-50-50 sale won't last long. Don't miss 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today. H2 Health Tips for an injury-free running season. Your core, hips, and glutes are important muscle groups for successful running. Cross-train to increase efficiency and reduce injury. For more, head to news4jacks.com. Provided by H2 Health Physical Therapy. Look at this closet. I love it. It's time to fall in love with your closet or any room in your house. At Closets by Design, we offer something for everyone. 
at a price for anyone. Let us design a unique space that fits your style and budget. Right now, get 18-month financing, 40% off, plus an extra 15% when you call 1-800-BY-DESIGN or go online today. Daddy, what's that big moving house thing? It's a motorhome, Junior. Modern invention. Modern invention? We carried our homes with us since, like, forever. Yeah, but humans have GEICO to protect them. If something goes wrong, they're covered. What do we have? What could go wrong? Ooh, a feather. A feather. <gasps> duck, Junior! That's no duck, Daddy. That's a vulture! Geico for RVs. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Ready, set, go. Go, boy, go! Go, boy, go! Go, boy, go! Go, boy, go! Live big in the larger-than-life SUVs from GMC. The GMC Acadia, Terrain, and all-new Yukon. Current eligible non-GM owners get over 5,200 purchase allowance on most 2021 Terrain models. We are professional grade GMC. Some clients say they're not the type of person who sues, but many of our cases are settled without having to sue anyone. In almost all of our car crash cases, insurance companies are responsible for paying the claim, not the person who hit you. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Hi, Mr. Arnold. Are you okay? There's a man following me, and I just don't feel comfortable. For the moments that make you look over your shoulder. I have notified the police. I will be holding with you. I'm here for you. How this high-tech hair tie could get police to your location faster than calling 911 for a fraction of the price of a gun. This is no slight on the police or their dispatches, but that response was so quick. Really? And the different versions of the device for people who might not wear one of these. Smart Armor, tonight on The 10 O'Clock News. It's not your average tournament, and it's making its way right here to the River City. Some top local professionals will have the chance to go head-to-head -head in this year's American Cornhole League tournament. More than 500 competitors will be coming from across the country, and it's the first year Jacksonville will be hosting this Open. But with the pandemic comes some changes to the event just like we've seen to all of the festivities that we've had this year. Joining us this morning to talk more about this and what you can expect, Rob Chismark, a, an ACL Southeast Commissioner. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, Rob, so let's talk about cornhole because a lot of us have done it maybe outside the restaurant, on the beach with our family and friends. You have taken it to the next level, sir. A little bit. Uh, I am <laughs> Just an ACL more than pro. a little bit. <laughs> Third year ACL Pro, um, and I'm also the, as you said, the ACL Southeast Conference Commissioner. Uh, and this 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 tournament we got coming this weekend is going to be incredible. It'll be the largest open uh, as yet. It's the fifth open, and it's the first year that we've done this format. So it's a wide open format. Anybody from age three to age 83 can play, and you get a chance to play against pros as well as you know some some of the brand new amateurs so it's going to be awesome okay so tell me what is the secret i play sometimes i do well sometimes i'm totally missing the mark i think the secret is to have a blast if you're having fun it doesn't really matter whether you're hitting everyone into the hole or if you're missing the mark you know just have a good time okay so we've got <laughs> some video from previous cornhole league uh championships there actually it says 2018 but they're wearing masks so that must be from within the past year but, right. but there they are the competitors what's the distance there between the boards between the front it's 27 feet so front to front 27 from the line to the hole is 30 and let's talk about getting involved maybe you're just hearing about it for the first time you're watching this show you want to bring your family out possibly learn a new skill still time to do that Absolutely. Um, it's open to everyone over at the Jacksonville Ice and Sportsplex. It's going to be, uh, you know, there's going to be 512 competitors that are already pre-registered. But you can come up and see there's going to be probably nearly 50 pros. So you can come out and interact with the pros and just talk about the game. You can play the game. We should have somewhere between 75 and, and 96 courts set up. So there will be time to have open play as well. 
Uh, and if you really want to get involved, come check us out on the league. It's iplayacl.com. Uh, you can just come check us out and okay. see what you like. We've got plenty of local stuff going on as well in the Clay County and, and Duval area. There's a monthly regional that goes on, and you can find all that stuff out at the same place. So if you want to be gung-ho about this, you don't necessarily have to wait for the next big open. You can, you can find people to compete against really on a weekly basis. Absolutely. We have some local pros that are former world champions that are more than happy to teach you some things and even beat you. <laughs> <laughs> they will beat you. But it's a good way to uh, maybe learn some skills and impress your friends and family at the next backyard barbecue. I've seen it at weddings, all different, you know, reasons to bring out the cornhole. And, and I got to ask you, I mean, sometimes I just want to slam dunk it. Is that against the rules? Does it have to be that underhand softball looking pitch? No, actually, any throw is good. They just approve the overhand throw if that's ah. something that you want to do. Ah. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, the accuracy of the underhand is, is going to be a little okay. bit better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks to the Cornhole Czar for approving that. But, but we'll, we'll work on it. And certainly I appreciate uh, you coming on, spreading the word about this. I know that there's some social distancing and some, some mask wearing and some pandemic um, procedures just to make sure that everybody's safe when they're there. Absolutely. We'll be taking temperatures as everybody's entering. And definitely we're going to have some sanitation stations will be warm all right rob thank you good luck thank you thanks for having me hi mr no are you okay there's a man following me and i just don't feel comfortable for the moments that make you look over your shoulder i have notified the police i will be holding with you i'm here for you how this high-tech hair tie could get police to your location faster than calling 911 for a fraction of the price of a gun this is no slight on the police or their dispatches but that response was so quick really and the different versions of the device for people who might not wear one of these smart armor coming up on the 10 o'clock news oven out of service call atlantic coast appliance your local and trusted appliance repair experts when you have to file a claim with your homeowner's insurance, call us. We'll help you get everything you deserve, and you pay nothing unless we win. Fair and fair. This is James. Jimmy! Mom, Dad, this is James. Jimmy! James? James Harrison from Roosevelt High? Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh. You good, Jimmy? The 2021 Toyota RAV4. The RAV for all of you. Get 0% APR for 48 months on a new 2021 RAV4 and 90 day payment deferral. Toyota, let's go places. I think the best fashions, the best designs, even the best rooms, borrow a little from here and a little from there. At Rooms to Go, the incredible selection of styles makes finding it all easy. So you can go piece by piece or room by room. As long as you love what you put together, there's no wrong way to get there. And because it's rooms to go, you know it won't just be affordable, it'll be amazing. Anything's possible at rooms to go. The unknown is not empty. It's a storm that crashes and consumes, replacing thought with worry. But one thing can calm uncertainty an answer. Uncovered through exploration, teamwork, and innovation. An answer that leads to even more answers. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. In a world where temptation lurked around every corner, a league of baby bell cheese helped us realize another snack was possible. Baby Bell joined the goodness. If your dry eye symptoms keep coming back, inflammation in your eye might be to blame. Looks like a great day for achy, burning eyes. Over-the-counter eye drops typically work by lubricating your eyes and may provide temporary relief. Ha! These drops probably won't touch me. Zydra works differently, targeting inflammation that can cause dry eye disease. What is that? Zydra! No! 
it can provide lasting relief. Oh. Zydra is the only FDA-approved treatment specifically for the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. One drop in each eye, twice a day. Don't use if you're allergic to Zydra. Common side effects include eye irritation, discomfort, or blurred vision when applied to the eye, and unusual taste sensation. Don't touch container tip to your eye or any surface. After using Zydra, wait 15 minutes before reinserting contacts. Got any room in your eye? Talk to an eye doctor about twice daily Zydra. I'd prefer you didn't. Zydra, not today, dry eye. Yes. Workers' compensation, just call Pendas. Offices, Jacksonville. If your student is struggling with mental health during the pandemic, Yale University now has a free class. The Ivy League School.